Hello, Mindsetters. Welcome to today's Grade 11 Life Sciences show. Today, we have a special revision lesson on photosynthesis. We have selected highlights from lessons shown earlier in the year to help you with your revision. Please send us your questions and comments on Facebook on facebook.com forward slash learn extra or on Twitter at learn extra so we can help you revise. Don't forget to download today's show notes on learn.mindset.co.za or you can click on the link on our Facebook page. Now it's time to get on with today's lesson. Time for questions. Luni, are you ready, my girl? Mm -hmm. You better pay a lot of no, attention yeah, to No, this. I'm watching now. I'm watching. watching now. That's mm -hmm. what I want to see. Okay, so let's see. Here we've got this beautiful picture. What I've got is I've got a plant there. I've got an animal there. I've got gas, Y, and oxygen. Gas, Y, and oxygen. Now the question states, what is gas, Y? Now, guess why is the opposite, if I'm not mistaken, to oxygen, right? So, let me see how this works. Okay. The plant takes in guess why, yes? Goes through a whole process, and through this process gives off oxygen, okay? The plant, the animal takes in the oxygen, goes through this whole process giving off guess why, and the plant takes in guess why. What does plant take in, Looney? <coughs> what does a plant take in? It takes in carbon dioxide. Clever girl. You know just what you say. Hey? Mm. Good. The next, the, the next one we're having a look at is where does gas Y enter the plant? Ah, she thought I'd make it easy for her, didn't she? Where does gas Y? Gas Y, so carbon dioxide. <laughs> where does carbon dioxide into the plant. What should <laughs> say something like the lungs? Uh, no, I was about to say the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> the le yes. That's it. Almost, yes. That was good. Look at that guess, huh? That's it. Yeah, yeah, Almost. But there's a specific part of the leaf. But the leaf is right. The leaf please shouldn't say bark or roots. Oh, no, man. Come you, on. You get where I'm coming from. <laughs> that, that was good, Looney. I, that, I was very impressed I'm with trying, it. Yeah, I don't, I'm trying. I don't think you understand how <laughs> impressed I am about that. Okay? It is found in the stomata. It goes through the stomata. Now, can you remember what the stomata is? Okay, the stomata look like bean-shaped cells, right? And they have a hole in the middle. Okay, and those cells are called guard cells. And what they do is they open a hole, and the water can come through, and the carbon dioxide can go through. Okay, so that was very good, Lynn. You don't understand how surprised I am. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Well, no, wait, let me pull that back. Looney, I don't expect anything less. No, like I'm really trying. Yeah, of course you're yeah. trying. Since when don't you try? <laughs> I'm bad. Right. What do plants use gas Y for? Okay, what do the plants use the carbon dioxide for? Hmm, that's quite a, quite a strange one. What does it use carbon dioxide? dioxide for hmm. let's have a look photosynthesis okay let's let's just understand what does carbon dioxide do inside this whole system okay let's let's just have a look if i'm not mistaken looney what do we need what do we need we need just bear with me here we need water am i right i'm just going to put a w for water are we happy with this Mm -hmm. Are you happy with this, my girl? Yeah. W, oh. we're going to need, need water, right? Yes. We're going to need sunlight. Okay, so SL. SL, we happy? Mm -hmm. We're going to need CO, right? carbon dioxide. Yes, you, mm -hmm. you with me so far, hey, Looney? Mm -hmm. Okay, carbon dioxide. I'm going to need, uh, let's see, sunlight, water, carbon dioxide, and chlorophyll. Okay, that's all fine. Okay, so what do we take in? Okay, we take in the water and we take in the sunlight. Am I right? We take in the water and we take in the sunlight and we cut it up. Now let's see what we get. We get H2O plus CO2 to make C6H12O6. What is this here? It's a carbon, right? Carbon is used to help make glucose. 
Can you remember the glucose molecule that we were talking about? Okay, it's health. It's part of the glucose molecule. We need the carbon. That's why we're taking carbon dioxide and not just plain oxygen. We need the carbon to make the... To make the... Come on. What are we making? Oxygen. We're making glucose. <laughs> <laughs> you see what happens when she stops trying. <laughs> Ludie, you with me now again, girl? Yes. Good girl. Now, if I have a look at it, in which process does animals use oxygen? Hmm. In which process does animals use oxygen? Now, now this is a strange question because it's going to confuse you. If I had a look at that, Ludie, did... Help me out here. Right. I've got plants, and they give off oxygen, right? Pla animals take in the oxygen, right? They give off gas, why, which is? Let me put it in here. Carbon dioxide. Oh, come on. <coughs> it is CO2, right? Mm -hmm. And the plants take in the CO2. We're happy with that? Yes. Okay. So, process A or process B, where do the animals use the oxygen? A or B? Where do they use? This is A. This is B. B. Which process, A or B, would the animal use the oxygen? Would it be B, where they get the oxygen, or would it be C, where carbon dioxide is made? B. Hmm? Where, they get, where they get the oxygen. This they is use. where they get the oxygen. Mm -hmm. This is where they start releasing carbon dioxide. It's <laughs> yeah, difficult, huh? It's, it's tricky. It's <laughs> a tricky question. Watch carefully. This part is what the plants do to get rid of their oxygen. This is the process that animals do to get rid of their carbon dioxide. So where would, which process, A or B? A, we're still getting the oxygen. Uh, B, we're still getting the oxygen. So A. A means we are using oxygen to make carbon dioxide, right. So in my eyes, it has to be A. It can't be anything else. So let's go see. Okay. It is not that one. That one. It is. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We went too fast. In which pro sorry, in which process is animals using? It's called cellular respiration. It's got to be cellular or res re respiration is fine. It's cel cellular respiration. Okay. So that's the process where we use oxygen to make energy. Now, let me see if the next question is what I was looking for. Ah, that's it. Name process A or B. So let's get this again. In which process does animals use oxygen? We use it in cellular respiration. Have you, can, can you remember that? Hmm? Cellular respiration. Can you remember that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> which process, A or B? Name the process, name the processes A and B. So this process, what's this process? What's this process? I've just told you exactly <coughs> what it was in the last slide. Okay, if we have a look at it, process A is cellular res respiration. Process A is where we use oxygen and process B is where plants use the carbon dioxide. Okay, so protein, uh, process B is photosynthesis and process A is carbon dioxide. Nice and easy, right? It's not, it's not that difficult. Next, if we ever look at the next one. What does the arrow label X represent? Ooh. Uh -uh. Labeled X. So we're talking about this one here. This part here. What is that representing? Hmm. Remember, there's, there's up and down. That's all it is. Up and down, what is it representing? It's quite a strange question, this one, isn't it? Huh? Very difficult, I reckon. You need to know your stuff to understand this. That one, in my case, is carbohydrates. What it's saying is carbohydrates are passed from there to there. So carbohydrate is what the animals are going to eat out of the plants or get from the plants, right? Carbs. So this is the process of photosynthesis. This is the process of cellular res respiration. You with me? Okay. So let me get this again. Process. Oh, wait, let's get some color here. And I'm going to choose a different one so it doesn't mix. This is the process of cellular respiration. So cellular res respiration, CR. And this is 
the process of photosynthesis. This is what is passed on when we eat the plant, which is carbohydrates. You with me so far? Does it make, make sense? Do you need it making sense, sense to you, my girl? Mm. Mm, she sits there like, hey. <laughs> Are you getting this? Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> I don't know how you feel, but um, have you noticed when Looney is like, hasn't got a clue? It's always, mm -hmm. <laughs> so good, so amazing. What, Looney, you'll learn one day, my yes, girl. Yes, one day. Right at the go. So improve your skills. Let's have a look at this. Okay, next question. Look at these two reactions that take place in living organisms. So here we go. Look at the two reactions that take place in living organisms. Okay, here's the first one. Reaction A, reaction B. In reaction A, we're taking oxygen and glucose and we're making carbon dioxide and water. Re am I right? Y you with me? That's what it says there. Next one, process D. We're taking carbon dioxide and water and we're making oxygen and glucose. So it's the complete opposite. Yes or no? Looney? Mm hmm Okay. Mm <laughs> Keep watching. Keep watching. I'm going to make, okay. ma make you famous in a few seconds. <laughs> right? A few seconds famous. Here we go. Okay. Which of these two reactions take place in plants and animals? <whistles> hey, hold on. Whoa. Uh -huh. Hey, uh-uh. Uh -uh. That, does, that doesn't make sense, does it? Okay, let's look at this again. Reaction A is where we take oxygen and glucose. Yeah, I mustn't move that. That's not good. Oxygen and glucose. We take oxygen. We take glucose. Okay, and then we do something to them. We use them and we make carbon dioxide and water. Yeah, and we release energy. That's the first one. Now, in my mind, Luni, if I'm not mistaken, that's cell cellular respiration. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. This one is carbon dioxide and water. Okay, and we're going to use it and we're going to make oxygen and glucose. That's photosynthesis. Yes. Okay, now the question is which of the two reactions take place in plant and animal cells? Both. Oh. <laughs> yeah, um, you know what? Maybe I put the question wrong. Eh? Any, what do you think? Do you think I put I the question wrong? I don't get it. Okay, well, let me, let me put it into simpler terms for you. Takes place in plants and animals. Plants and animals. Which process? I mean, this one is we using cellular oxygen. respiration. Okay, this is cellular respiration. Don't, yeah. don't do that. That is cellular res respiration, uh -huh. right? The bottom one is photosynthesis. So the <laughs> one is making food. Yes. The other one is using it. And I'm saying, which one do plants and animals use? But animals don't photosynthesize. Exactly. So it can't be this <laughs> one, can it? it, it just, <laughs> let's just get there. It can't be this one, can it? No. Can it? Mm -mm. No. Can it be this one? Do plants use oxygen and glucose? Hey? No. Is there a mistake in your question or are you trying to trick me? Never. I never make mistakes in my question. Then what's going on? Okay, let me tell you. <laughs> plants make the food, right? And they take it and they store it. But they still need to do stuff, don't they? So what do they need to do? They need to use the energy. Because why make energy if you need to use it? Right? If you don't need to use it, why make it? So we make the energy and we store it there. And now when it's time to make energy, what do we do? We take the stuff and we use the energy. And to, make it, to use energy is called cellular respiration. So process A is saying that plants have to go through cellular respiration, just like every other cell. And animals do as well. So it has to be, has to be process A, reaction A. You all get where I'm coming from. That is why... At night, for instance, they will go and take the plants out of a hos hospital because it uses the oxygen instead of the carbon dioxide. Hmm, very clever, huh? Next, next one. Which of the two reactions take place? Which of the two? Okay, so it just carries on there. Which of the two reactions take place in plants? Come, Looney, which one only takes place in plants? Photosynthesis. Which is number? I just go. I can't see. Oh, you can't see. 
be clever girl has to be B. Very, very nice. Which reaction represents photosynthesis? B. Good one. And then, here we go. Name one substance used up in the reaction. Name one substance used up in reaction A. So if we have a look at this, name one substance used up in reaction A. One substance. One substance that we use <coughs> in reaction A. 2.1. Which of the two reactions take place in plants and animal cells? Okay. Now, plants, they make, they go through photosynthesis. Now, you were told your whole entire life, am I not right, Lini? Uh -huh. Even in your primary school, uh -huh. you were told plants make their own food for themselves. Yes. Yes. Okay. Us as animals, we go eat the plant and we steal their food. Yes. Mm. We robbers. Yeah. Simple. Cool. Now, listen to that saying from the beginning. Plants make their own food for themselves. Okay? So it takes the energy. It makes the food. Now, what's the point of making the food and putting it there and leaving it there? Don't need it. Okay? The process of taking that food, right, and burning it to make energy, okay, is called cellular respiration. Okay, so even plants go through cellular res respiration. <coughs> but they're the only ones that can photosynthesize as well. So all plants, all animals go through cellular respiration. But only plants go through photosynthesis. Makes sense, Lini? Yes. Okay, what else do we have? Beauty is asking, can a plant with yellow leaves undergo photosynthesis? Plants with yellow leaves. Now, it's not actually... I suppose it is a bit yellow. <coughs> it depends on how you're looking at it. It's normally a very, very, very light green. Okay? If it's got a very, very light green, it's trying to absorb as much as possible. It's not getting a lot of sunlight, and that's why it's very light green. Okay? But you get plants, for example, that have got different colored leaves. That's for attraction. Okay? Like, okay, try this one out. Leaves that are modified are called flowers. How did you know that, Lenny? Huh? So your rose petals are actually leaves. Oh. They're modified leaves. Okay? So that's fine. But you get these plants with yellow leaves. Okay? Look at carefully. When it comes to autumn, what color do those leaves turn, Lenny? Can you remember? The leaves. Yeah, what's our, what, when it comes to autumn, okay, what happens to the leaves? Turn brown. They turn brownish yellowish, hey? Mm -hmm. That means that the chloroplast, that leaves actually started to die. So the chloroplast is left. And now you're going to see the real color of the leaves or other pigments coming through. And that's why they've gone yellow. So they shouldn't photosynthesize at all. They're dead. They're going to fall on the ground and that's why they become so crunchy. Okay. Valencia is asking which lights... No, sorry. Which gas is released during the light phase and why? Which is Which given gas? off during the light phase. Yes. Well, it still needs to take in. The, during the light, light phase, you're not going to use as much gas. You are going to use it all in the dark phase. That's where we use our carbon dioxide from. Okay, so we're using dark phase for carbon dioxide. I think it's time for a break now. So go do a few stretches, take a deep breath, but don't go too far because we'll be right back. Welcome back from the break. Remember, if you need to revise any other topics, you can get the notes and watch all the videos from the Learn Extra Live shows on learn.mindset.co.za. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash mindset learn. You'll find that we've organized all the videos into shelves and playlists to make it easy for you to get what you want. Now it's time to get back to the revision. Yes. Right. Now, back to studying. Right, now what I've done is I'm doing some photosynthesis experiments because without photosynthesis, we as humans can't live. You do know that, Lini. That yes, I know if that. If plants die, that's it for us. Yeah, we, no we can't oxygen. survive. So now I need to find out how they make their food and what is photosynthesis, how to test for photosynthesis. Okay, now the first thing I like testing for well, is normally the starch test, but I need to get the water boiling there a bit. So I've got a leaf, right, that's been in the, in the sun, right? And 
I want to see if it photosynthesizes. So I just want you to, to remember one thing. I'm going to take this leaf, and I'm just going to put it into water. So let me move this away. Should I go? No, you can if you want. Do you, do you, do you want to stay here by me, do or do you want to go? Do you need me here? You need to get the, in the information, hey, Looney. They need I to need get posted. Yes, yes. Okay, so I'm going to send Looney. So it's just Brian. me and you now. Just me and No, you. can I take my chocolate? You can take whatever you <laughs> want, my sweetie. <laughs> right, now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and I'm going to just pop it into water there for a second. Right, well, not really a second. I'm going to put it in there. I just want you to remember, just plain water, nothing else. And I'm boiling it there so it can get nice and hot. Right, let's just open it up a bit. <coughs> there we go and let that do its job, right? While that's doing that, I'm gonna give you another experiment. Now, the experiment I wanna do first is an experiment that we test what is produced when photosynthesis takes place. Because there's a couple of things. Eh? First, we have a look at if light is needed for photosynthesis, okay? And then we do a test where we take a leaf and we cover a part of it and we put it into a dark room and, you know, and, and then we do a thing called a starch test. Now, what I'm going to do today with this leaf over here is a starch test, okay? Until then, I'm going to try another one. So the first one is checking if light helps with photosynthesis, okay? The second one that uh, we look at, right, is what does uh, what does a <coughs> plant produce during, oxy uh, during photosynthesis, right? And that's another one I'm going to do. And then there's another one, does, um, does photosynthesis use carbon dioxide? So we're not going to look at that one, but I brought two so we can look at them, right? When, when I get back to the board just now, we'll look at those. Now, what I've done is I cheated slightly because this plant in here, if you have a look carefully and if you can have a good look, there's a plant inside there, and that plant is a water plant, right? So that lives underwater, and it photosynthesizes there. And if you have a look carefully at, um, let me do this, at over here, we have a funnel. Now, what I need for this experiment is very simple, okay? I need a beaker, I need some water, I need a plant that lives in water, okay? And I need a test tube. Easy, nice and easy. And what I've done is... You fill this test tube with water. So you take a test tube and you fill it up to the brim with water, right? Then you cover it and you put it inside the water. So this whole test tube is filled upside down in water, right? Then you put it over there. Now what will happen is if this plant, whatever this plant <coughs> produces, right? Oxygen, carbon dioxide or whatever it is, is going to go up into this test tube and it's going to get rid of the water that's inside it. Okay, so that's what it does. It, through displacement, it moves the water out of the way so it's got a place to go, right? So that's what's happened. But it actually takes quite a while, okay? And if you have a look carefully, there is air bubbles. Can you see there's, there's air bubbles on the inside on that plant, okay? So it's producing the oxygen or carbon dioxide, whichever it is, and it bubbles up all the way into this, and now I've captured it in here, right? So we need to test what type of gas is in here okay now it's very very important to understand to test for oxygen we use a glowing splint in other words i need to make i'm going to light this it's going to go nice and red and once it's red i'm going to put it inside here and it should glow a lot more <coughs> right but i know i sent looney back and it's never a good thing to send Looney back too quickly. Why? Because I need you to help me here. Let again. me post the She's going to post it. Okay, so let's carry on. If we have a look here, I want to see how fast this is going. I know it's nice and, and hot. And you, I'm going to stir it. You'll notice that the leaf's becoming very soft, right? Why do you think I would boil this? Okay, I've got to put it into hot water. Okay, you've got to boil it in hot water main reason is when you boil a leaf, you're doing a thing called you denaturing it. I'm just going to put this aside for a few seconds. You denature the leaf. In other words, you are breaking down the bonds, the, 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 the what do you call those, the cell walls, for instance, right? So mm. you boil it so it gets nice and hot, destroys the bonds, and then we're going to take it out. The next step we're going to do, I'm going to pull this out. Right, let, let, let's do it in here, okay? I'm going to take this and I'm going to use this stuff methylated spirits okay normally you use alcohol not the alcohol you buy from the shops i'm talking about ethanol methanol all those type of things right and oh i can't use this 
because I need to put it into there. So I'm going to put it back into this test tube. I'm going to pour it in there. Hopefully I don't spill too much. Okay, there it is. Okay, now the whole point of this is, this stuff's very, very important because what, what we do with this at the end is we actually need to get rid of the chlorophyll, right? So that green stuff that makes the leaf green, right? That stuff that's found in the leaf. There it is. I need to get rid of it because how am I going to see? The whole point of a leaf, what it does is it takes its food and it stores it as starch. And when it's got starch, okay, that's put aside. Now we need to do the test for starch. If this is test positive for starch, it means it's made food through photosynthesis. Right. Uni, how are we doing there, girl? Perfect. Okay, so Kay. don't forget this. So I've done two sp experiments at the same time. Right, so here we go. Now, what I want you to do, Looney, very, very carefully, okay, we're going to remove this, but I need you to do it like this. Remove this? Remove that, yeah, okay. but what I need, need you to do, okay. watch carefully, okay, it's inside the beaker, mm -hmm. okay, I need you to take it, put your fingers over so you block it mm -hmm. as much, as quick as possible, so you can pick it up, you can pick it up and block it, okay, and then turn it upside down and hold it like, like that for me, okay. You need to do that quickly. Put so my hand in you can Remember, there, no, you don't have to put your hand oh, inside. Just okay. pull it up and block it immediately, as quick as you can. Yee! Block it tight, tight. <laughs> That's it. Okay, now, nothing, very nice. Okay, now, I need to light this. I'm going to use... That is nothing. I hold, that's perfect. It you hold right. it. Oh. That's nothing. That's what we want. Let's see if we can get this going. There we go. Let's get it nice and Still and close glowing. this part. Close the part. That's it. You'll notice I'm making it nice, nice and hot, getting it nice and red. Okay? okay. Now, you need to watch very carefully when I bring it closer. So I'm going to move the water out the way. Looney, you need to bring it right over here so everybody can see. And when, I let, when she lets go, watch the glowing. One, two, three, let go. See how red it's going? Look how much lighter it's going. Okay? Let's see. I'll see if I can, during the break, get some more, because I have got another one in the back there. But what happens is it actually goes nice and red, li like this. Did you see how red it went when it went in here? Mm -hmm. now, now look at the difference. If I put it in without that redness, let's see if it goes. Come on. Watch now. Look, it doesn't even go very red. See how it does? It's too much carbon dioxide. Can you remember how red it went yes, when we put it in? It went red. nice and red. That is oxygen because oxygen makes a glowing splint go nice and light. Right. Thanks, Lee. Thank you. <laughs> so that's what we did with that experiment. Nice and easy. Now, this water. Come on. You need to boil. Come on. Okay. Now, while we're busy on this, photosynthesis. I'm going to go to the board. Let that boil a little bit and then we're gonna come back in a few seconds. Right, okay, so just again while it's boiling, I wanna, I wanna make sure that while that's boiling, right, we're gonna do a little bit of work, and then after the break quickly, just quickly, 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 we'll go through that experiment again. Right, now, remember, when it comes to photosynthesis, we use water, which we get from the roots, right? We take carbon dioxide, which we take through the stomata. We use the light, right? And of course, in the leaves, it's green. It's got chlorophyll, which is found on, which is found in the chloroplasts, which is chlorophyll. And we use enzymes, right, to make certain things. It's called glucose and oxygen. Now, you need to know it this way, and you need to know the chemical makeup of it. Right, so water, H2O, which is six water molecules. You need six carbon dioxide molecules to make one glucose, which is C6H12O6 molecules, and six oxygen molecules. Right, very important. That's one of the most important things that you need to know. Okay, now remember, the process of photosynthesis, right, is to take light and water and to produce a substance, okay, to produce, uh, a, take light energy, which is from the sun, and change it into chemical energy. So let's have a look at it. It's whereby light is converted from, uh, fr uh, fr uh, light energy is changed into chemical energy, right? The sun is 
changed from its chemi <coughs> it changed into chemical energy, which we change it into a sugar, right? There it is, the sugar and other organic compounds. For example, starch, which is what we're looking for while, that's, while the stuff's going, right? So we're changing it into that, right? Um, the process consists of two things, the light phase and the dark phase, okay? Very important. Use two phases, and you always got to remember it. Okay, and in those two phases, in the beginning part, we need the following things. We need water, right, and carbon dioxide. The nice thing about it is, is us humans, we breathe out a lot of carbon dioxide. So the plants are cool. The problem is, what do we cut down, Looney? What are we cutting down? What? Well, if I'm breathing out carbon dioxide, right, what am I cutting down all the time? It's big things, and they've got these trees. That's my Trees. Girl. Trees. <laughs> I was just whispering just to make sure if you were on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> you're on the same page. You're getting good. We cut down the trees. And if we cut down the trees, how far are we going to go? Right? We're not producing as much oxygen. Okay? So we're cutting down all the trees. We need to stop that. Because photosynthesis is one of the most important things that's coming around. Right? Without that, we're not going to go anywhere. Okay? So what I think we need to do, I think we need to go for a break. While you're on that break, let me see if I can get some more oxygen okay let me get some oxygen into a, a thing for you and try and light it so you can see it again can't promise it's going to work very well but let's see what we can do okay guys i hope you are enjoying this revision session if you are struggling and need help please post on the page or submit your questions to the learn extra help desk now it's time to take a quick break so don't go away we'll be right back Welcome back from the break. Remember, if you have any questions, you can submit them to the Learn Extra Help Desk. You'll find the details pinned to the top of the page. Right now, let's do some more revision. Let's get the glowing splint going here. Looney, how about you come and hold the glowing oh, splint the this time? Glowing splint. The glowing splint. Splint. Okay, oh, so hold splint. it there. Let's get some fire going to that. Right. Then you want it to burn. Yeah. Oh, you have water. I don't. Okay, now you'll notice I've got a bit of water in there. Okay, that means I didn't go all the way. Okay, now Looney, blow it's that fire. out. Now you see it's not that red. Look carefully at the red and stick it all the way in, hey Looney? Okay. Look carefully at the red. But One, not in the water. Two, three, go. Wow, it's Did burning. Did you see that? That it's is. Burning even. No, 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 all the way to there. It's fine. Okay. Did you see how that burned? That is oxygen. Oxygen. Now that's what that thing does. Right. It makes, it shows you that photosynthesis makes oxygen. oxygen. Hey, how nice was that? Awesome. Better. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, cool. Now, let's have a look at what I've got here so far. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, what I have here, just hopefully, mm -mm. let's cool that down. This thing's been <laughs> boiling quite nicely. Now, what I've done is I've denatured all the cells, right, so that we can break them off. Okay? Now, I'm going to take this stuff, which is... Methylated spirit. spirits and methylated spirits has got what in it? Paraf no. no. Paraffin? Stay, stay, it starts with an L. L. Yeah. L. Liquid. <laughs> Co. Hmm? L. L. Alcohol. Clever girl. Alcohol. You see, no help needed for you. No, yeah. Kay. So I'm going to take this <laughs> and I'm going to stick this leaf <laughs> no. into the alcohol. Ah, there no, it can goes. I please just share this? I'm sorry, like people drinking my ear. Does alcohol start with an L? Yes. Alcohol? Yes. Oh, there where you come from. Yes. <laughs> L. <laughs> now, guess where I'm coming from? It says L and then co. I'm not spelling it oh, properly. It's L. It starts, starts with an, with an L. L. Oh, as in A-L. Okay, yes. Okay, we can forgive you. We well, what you did you think I was saying? With an A? L. No. L as in L. As in A. L for Llewellyn. L as in A-L. <laughs> okay, let's see, but it's fine. <laughs> Woman. Right. Now, watch carefully. What happens to alcohol if I put fire to it. Mm, 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 mm. Can I not be here when this happens? See, she doesn't want to be here. Yeah. So, first of all, we got to be clever and we got to use something that holds the test tube, right? Because we don't want to damage old gorgeous Looney here. Second of all, I don't take alcohol near a flame because what's going to happen? It's going to pop. Right. Now, let me give you a little bit of science here. Water has a boiling point of 100. And alcohol has a lot less. So what we do, watch carefully, is we stick the alcohol in the water and look what happens. 
Just have a good look at what happens. No, don't worry. No, the thing is, you see, people are, are worried about me. I'm also worried about myself. Don't know what's going to happen. What if it Kay. explodes? This year, no, well, I'm not <laughs> very worried about that. This year, the alcohol has a lowing, lower boiling point. So because I've put it into boiling water, look carefully at what happens to the alcohol. If you can look nice and closely, the alcohol starts to boil, right? Now, why are we putting it in alcohol? Why do you think we put it in alcohol? Very, very important reason. We put it in alcohol for a good reason. Remember what color that leaf was when I took it out of the water? Mm -hmm. What color was it? When you took it out, yeah. it was a faded green. It was a faded green, very nice. And this water's got a slight green tinge to it. But I need to, I need to see everything. Have a look, what, what's happening to the alcohol there, Looney? It's boiling. It's boiling. Now the nice but thing about the this is, ah, the nice thing is I can turn this whole thing off and it'll still boil because the water is that hot. Did you turn it off? Yeah, it's oh no, no, it'll, no. There's, still, there's still gas in the pipe. Oh, oh, Stick with me, uh, I'll, I'll make right. you famous. Because it was this side when it was off, but no, it's <laughs> fine, make me famous. Now, oh, there it's off. Now watch, still boiling quite nicely. What color did we, did, yeah, what color was the methylated spirits? But now why the colors changed? Oh, look at the colors changed. Yeah. So what do you think is happening? What am I pulling out of that leaf? The chlorophyll. Yeah. Chlorophyll. Clever girl. <laughs> She's brilliant. So I'm taking the green out of the leaf. Look at that. Oh, cool. Look how the color is and changed. And then now the tube is purple a bit. Yeah. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, now look at that. Look at the different color. Hey That's you? cool. That's cool, huh? Yeah. Now, now that we've done that, okay, what I want to do is I need to remove that leaf. Now remember the alcohol is what? Hot. Hot. What does boiling mean? Hot. It's hot. hot. Now, I'm going to take it out. Come on. And it's nice and hard. Look at the color of the leaf now. Oh, yeah. Oh, come here. No one asked you to go back in there. Come on. Oh, I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to pour. Oh, now it's green. Ha, look at that. Looks like cabbage. Looks like cabbage. <laughs> now remember the difference. Let me just show you slightly. Look at the difference between the two, right? So I've removed the chlorophyll. Now, this, feel the leaf. It's quite hard. It's not as soft as it was. Oh, huh? yeah. Okay, and smell your hands. You can smell the alcohol. Okay, yeah. it's, it's, it's hard. It's, it's very hard, and I'm messing all over the place, but I really don't mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in there, okay? Because... It's still hot. Look how it opens up. Okay, Looney, don't worry. Alcohol is not going to kill you. It's not going to mm. kill you. It's actually very good for you. My fingers are feeling very funny. You're, oh, <laughs> now you're feeling better, <laughs> sweetie pie. <laughs> right? So now look. It's nice and relaxed. Soft again. And hot. Sorry. Very hot. <laughs> right? And open it up. Now, can you remember the color of the leaf the first time you saw it? Yeah, it looked like cabbage. It looked like it's cabbage. Really now look at it. It's look what color it is now. It's color. Hey, where's the clock? Is it still green? Uh -uh. If I have a look at this, doesn't this look like a leaf that has just fallen off the tree in autumn? Oh, yes. Uh, all the green's out of it. So that's exactly what the alcohol does. It removes the chlorophyll. So all the chloroplast, all the chlorophyll is in there. Okay, now, if we have a look at it. Do you still need me? No, we don't need it. But I always need you, Lenny. No, like... I get it. I'm there. Right. I've got this stuff called iodine, right? Now, what happens with iodine is if this leaf does not have starch, it's going to stay like a reddish color, right? <coughs> but the minute starch is present, it goes a blue-black, a dark blue-black color, right? So this is how we're going to test it, okay? I'm going to open it, and I need to... Uh, I made sure I went and bought new ones just to make sure it's 100% right for you. Right, and this is a dropper, okay? So take the dropper, suck up a bit of, I don't want too much, right? And I'm gonna drop it, I will show you. Okay, don't go too far, that's it. You will see exactly where it photosynthesized and where it didn't. Which is the nicest thing out, because I got made sure that this leaf was half in the shade. Hey, there we go. Now, put this away. Just have a good look. Have a look at that. You will notice that where it is a very dark color, that's where photosynthesis was taking place. Where it was a very light color, 
there's not much. It means that there's not much starch there, right? You know that bread and all of that is starch? So have a look. Look how dark it is, and look here. Look at this. Nothing. Look here. Nothing. This piece here is where it's photosynthesized. Hey, how cool is that? Now, that is your starch test. Just a quick word. Don't get it on yourself like I just did because it will stain for weeks and you're not going to be a happy person. Right, okay. Let's get do some questions. I think we need to. Well, not questions. Let's carry on a bit and see how far we get. Right, okay. Now, let's get back, back to this part. We did the whole part of photosynthesis, right? We're having a look at it. Now we need to have a look at what we need. And I'm going to run through this very quickly because you've seen me do the experiment. Okay, first of all, with this, this is the starch test, exactly what I said. We need a beaker. Where is it? We need a beaker. We need a tripod stand, wire gauze, which you saw. Okay, if you want me to have a look at it, I can go back and look. Just let me know. A Bunsen burner or a spirit burner. Okay, test tube. We put the alcohol in the test t the in, into the test tube, right? Methylated spirits or ethanol, plain and simple, right? Forceps, which is that tweezer thingy that we needed. Okay, there it is. A white towel. I just put it up on top of me. White towel because you can see it quite nice and clearly, right? Iodine solution and a dropper. Easy, simple. Okay, there it is. That's the exact same experiment I show showed you over there. I took the leaf. I boiled it in water, right? <coughs> I took it out of the water, I put it into alcohol, into a test tube, right? Then I rinsed it back in the water, I put it down, and I put iodine drops on it. Easy, simple. Right, that's a nice and easy one to go through. Next one, okay. The next one I want to have a look at is to see, remove a leaf from a healthy growing plant. See what the difference is, starch test. Okay, this one is exactly the same. What this is saying, I, I want to get to the question so you must understand where I'm coming from. Right? This one's saying, when a plant, part of the, of, of the leaves don't go through photosynthesis, then you're going to get that different colors, as you saw. Right? Now, this one was in semi-shade. It was in quite a bit of shade, actually, and it's been raining, right? and it's overcast. It's not getting as much photosynthesis. It's not, as, it's not photosynthesizing as much, if you get where I'm coming from. Hey, Luni, are you with me, girl? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She just She's good at that. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, right? no. So <laughs> what they're trying to do is the, when they do all of this experiment, right? At the end, you're not going to get a blue-black color. You're going to get blue-black here and there, and you're going to get an open piece. Right, now, that's a very important thing. If I had to look at the pra practicals that we're looking at, that, was, that wasn't a practical. <coughs> that there was the starch test. Okay, now the practical, okay, is very simple. This one is if light is necessary for photosynthesis. Okay, so what they do, same thing, Method, this is the difference. They want you to cut a shape out of a strip of foil, tin foil, and stick it on the plant. Once it's stuck on that plant, that piece or under the leaf is not going to photosynthesize, which means it's not going to have that blue-black color. So you stick it on the plant, the rest of the plant will go through photosynthesis, right? And that part where the foil is, is not going to photosynthesize. How do we test that? Starch test. Do you get where I'm coming from? Okay. So you first need to, the most important thing is you take a strip of foil and put it on, right? Any shape you want, it looks quite nice. And trust me, it's a lot of fun. Try it out. And you can do this at home. It's a very easy thing. Just watch out for the fire, hey? It's never a good thing. Those things are very dangerous. Hey, Looney. Yes. Yes, she just, yes. Mm -hmm. Fires are dangerous, come on. Fires are dangerous. See, she's with me. <laughs> pra practical too. Very nice one. To determine whether chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis. Okay, what do we require in this? Okay, we need to leave a plant in a dark room for 48 hours, in other words, two days, right? The reason why we put it in there is to stop it from photosynthesizing, okay? There's no light, which means the leaves are still gonna survive, but they're gonna be dark. They're not gonna be a very happy leaf, right? Then we're gonna take it out, and the minute we put it in there, okay, we, watch it, we, ta we, we take a leaf from it and we do a starch, a, a normal starch test you'll see that there's no, photo, there's no starch in it. Then we put it in the light for a while and test the same, a, a, a different leaf, but from that plant. And you will see that starch is present. Okay, so that is the next simple experiment. Okay, the results, as you will see, there will be starch present where the green parts 
of the plant is. Okay, so those leaves are not going to be as green in when you take them out of the, co the, 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 the dark room. As soon as you put them in the sun, they're going to start going a little bit more green. Right. Okay, cool. If we have a look at the next one. Okay, this one's also a nice one. To test whether carbon dioxide, right, is necessary for photosynthesis. In other words, does it use carbon dioxide to do photosynthesis? Okay, here we go. <coughs> you're going to put two pot plants in a dark, dark room. When you take them out, you're going to put in two types of liquids, one in the one, one in the other, and you're going to put a bag over it so it doesn't escape. The first plant you're going to put here is sodium hydroxide, or NaOH, right? Sodium hydroxide. The second one we can put in is sodium hydrogen carbonate solution, or what was that word that they use? Uh, sodium dioxide, I think it was, or sodium, uh, I'll find out the name. Okay, I'm sure it's sodium dioxide. Remember, I, I do life science here, hey? Right, so sodium hydrogen carbonate, right? Nice and easy. The one, so this one here is very important, and this one here is very important. And you will notice that one of them, one of the two, I'm not going to ask you, I want to ask you, you need to tell me, right? Which one of the two produces carbon dioxide, and which one out of the two decreases <coughs> carbon dioxide. Right, that's what I want. Hey, Looney, let's get some questions going there. Yes. Okay, definitely. Right, and what are you going to find out? I want to see if it is there. Okay, what you're going to find out is the one plant is not going to photosynthesize. All of these things, all of the experiments that you do with this, you need to end with a specific process. And that process is, come Looney, what's that process? Starch test. Starch test. You always end with a? Starch test. Always. Why? Because what is starch? It's the storage of glucose for plants. Right. So we always end with a starch test. So, same thing. Now, please don't forget. I want that answer. The difference or which one? Which one between the two? Sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium hydroxide solution? Which one? Produce it, not, not produces, let me put this right. Which one increases the amount of carbon dioxide and which one decreases the amount of carbon dioxide? I want an answer, send it to Looney. Hey, Looney? Okay, uh -huh. cool. Now, ooh, while, while we're while we on that subject, Looney, do you know something about a multiple choice question? It's when you have options. You have options. questions and then you have options. And, and, and on but the page, we've got... they're always similar. They're always, always similar. Always similar. Always similar. I must remember that. And the nice thing about it is when you do it, there's always satisfaction at the end with us, hey? With the mul multiple choice questions. Right. So we're happy with this experiment. Okay. I'm going to look at the next, next one. This is the same one, isn't it? Determine whether carbon dioxide is necessary for <coughs> photosynthesis. Okay. Plants... That had, oh no, I don't want to do that. That is, that is very bad. That's very bad. I almost gave you the answer there, didn't I? Yeah. I almost <laughs> gave you the answer and I forgot about that. It's very simple to tell you, okay? Well, hopefully you got it right. So, Looney, has people sent back the answer already? No. Nobody yet? The thing is, it's slow, so maybe uh, uh, they so, have. So they have, but it's, okay, so yes. then, if you have, let me go through it again. Watch carefully. Okay, this is the answer. This is what I'm looking for. Right, the plant that has sodium hydroxide with it in the plastic bag. So remember I said you put it on and you put a plastic bag around it so that it keeps it in there. Will produce less starch. So the sodium hydroxide, right, gets rid of the carbon dioxide. Takes it away. Now, if we have a look at it, the plant with the sodium hydrogen carbonate, that there produces carbon dioxide, right? It melts away and it produces carbon dioxide and the plant uses the carbon dioxide and goes through photosynthesis. If it goes through photosynthesis, it's going to store the starch, right? How are we going to end the experiment, Looney? How will we end the experiment with this one? <laughs> you know what? When we say things what together... No, what are you talking about? Well, with we the have starch. the starch what? The starch test. There we go. Starch test. Uh, we always end with? <laughs> the starch test. Good girl. We can teach her a lot between the two of us. <laughs> right. Right. So if I have a look at it, determine whether oxygen is present. You saw the experiment. Right? Very simple. Test tube. Glowing splint into the test. Test tube. 
There we go. You will notice that oxygen is produced at the end of it. Okay? All of this stuff is very, very important. Very important for you. Right. Let's have a look at the next one. Navigating questions. Well, what I want to do, all this is available to them. Hey, Looney. Mm -hmm. All of this is available to them. So I, I want to ask you guys something. Okay? When it comes to these practicals, you're going to start with different things. Right. They're going to ask you things like your your um, dependent, your independent variables, right? They're going to ask you, for example, what is a state, the hypothesis, okay? The hypothesis is very important. A hypothesis is a fact. It's very important. Don't come, this might happen, right? Or I think that will happen. For example, um, plants might produce oxygen during photosynthesis. It's very simple. You want to give a hypothesis, you say this. This is how you say it. Plants will produce oxygen during photosynthesis. You're not asking, you're not uh, round about fact that will happen. Right. So anything you do when it comes to a hypothesis question, you've got to say this is perfect to the T 100%. This is fact. Nothing's going to change. Whether you're wrong or right, doesn't matter, okay? You are stating a fact. You might at the end say, well, the hypothesis I put down was wrong, but you still put a fact down. We've come to the end of today's show. Thanks for joining me and for chatting to me during the show. Remember to visit our website, learn.mindset.co.za to download the show notes and to watch all the videos from this year's shows. Goodbye.